The new MacBook Pro models with M3 Pro chips are supposed to be the fastest and most powerful laptops ever made by Apple. Is it really worth the hype? Let's find out. So, the new MacBook M3 Pro isn't that big of a leap from the M2 series chip, but if you're still rocking an Intel or M1 MacBook Pro, it might be time for an upgrade. Plus, the Pro has some really unique features as well. One thing that really caught our eye is the new space black color option. After years of only having space gray and silver, it's a refreshing change, which is only available for the 14-inch version of the Pro and Max chips. Moving on, the 14-inch M3 Pro is packing three Thunderbolt ports, a 3.5mm headphone jack, a MagSafe 3 port, an HDMI port, and an SDXC card slot, but sadly no USB-A port, especially for gaming fans. It means you'll need to hook up a USB-C hub for your other gadgets, which is a bit of a hassle to be honest. Now, about the design, it's pretty much the same as the M2. The same fantastic Liquid Retina XDR display comes with a 120Hz refresh rate and 1000 nits of brightness. But no OLED display this time around. If you're cool with the Retina display, you'll still be soaking in top-notch visuals. But let's not write off the M3 Pro just yet. We haven't even touched on the graphics. This is where the M3 generation really shines. So while there might be some hiccups in the raw performance department, the M3's got some serious muscle when it comes to graphics. And what about the keyboard? Well, it's the same reliable setup with full-sized function keys and the trusty Touch ID button. The keyboard stays true to its clicky MacBook roots, offering that familiar and satisfying typing experience. Plus, the touchpad is as smooth and responsive as ever, handling multi-touch gestures like a champ without missing a beat. Now, let's talk about performance. First off, the core counts have been rejiggered. The M3 Pro rocks a 12-core setup with 6 performance cores and 6 efficiency cores, while the M2 Pro boasts 8 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores. On top of that, the memory bandwidth takes a hit, dropping from 200GB per second to 150GB per second. Speaking of which, early Geekbench scores for the M3 Pro have trickled out, and let's just say that they're not exactly setting the world on fire. We're looking at a single core score of 3176, which some tech whizzies have pointed out is pretty much on par with the M2 Max. For all you gamers out there, the M3 MacBook Pro holds its own, with games like Lies of P and Resident Evil Village running pretty smoothly on medium settings. But let's not kid ourselves, the Mac doesn't exactly have a treasure trove of gaming options like its Windows counterparts. So while it's a decent player, your gaming menu might be somewhat limited. Moreover, this whole new MacBook boasts the same impressive 6-speaker sound setup as its M2 sibling, with two tweeters for crystal clear audio and four force-canceling woofers for that extra oomph. Now, if you're vibing with content that supports Dolby Atmos, get ready to be enveloped in some seriously sweet spatial audio. And the camera? It's a familiar face, packing the same reliable 1080p lens we've seen in the M2 and M1 versions. The colors pop, the saturation is just right, and your skin textures come through with surprising precision. And finally, the battery life. Apple promised a whopping 22 hours. That's a tempting upgrade from the M2 Pro's 16 hours and 40 minutes. So, in conclusion, if you're eyeing the M3 MacBook Pro, if you're currently rocking an M1 or Intel series chip, this could be your ticket to a sweet upgrade. Apple hyped up the M3, promising it to be 20-30% to zippier than the M2 and 50% faster than the M1. But if you're knee-deep in heavy-duty tasks, especially for creative work, you might want to cast your gaze towards the 16-inch Pro with the Max chip. The M3's performance might not be a game-changer for you in that scenario, but you'd feel the buzz if you're leaping from an older Intel-powered MacBook Pro or if your trusty M1 Mac is starting to lag behind. And here's the scoop, most of the M3's features are a mirror image of the M2 models that dropped earlier in the year. Sure, the battery lasts a tad longer and the benchmark results get a modest boost, but it might not be enough to justify a whole upgrade especially if you're coming from an M2-powered MacBook Pro. Excited about the space black magic or feeling the graphic prowess? Share your thoughts. Until next time, see you soon.